guys, it's me Frank from Humbly Creative again. Today's tutorial is a wood burning project that I'm working on. It's a set of wooden spoons for an Italian cook in my family. So I figured I'd seize the opportunity and show you guys what I've learned about wood burning so far. And hopefully I can hash out some fears that you might have and get you guys making stuff yourselves. Because handmade does matter, just remember that. So. We'll get started. What I have is a Versa tool set from Walnut Hollow. It's more than just a wood burner. It comes with all these attachments. This is the heat transfer tip that I'll be using later. It's really good for transferring laser copies onto wood. Um, this is solder it comes with because it's also a soldering iron. It has a rosin core. These other tips, the shinier ones you can see I haven't used versus the two on the right that I use the most. It's also a hot knife. I don't use it that much. Um, I just, I don't have a need to. I use a regular X-Acto knife. This is the tip that you're supposed to use with the solder. And it also has this neat little tip that is really good for shading. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's tapered. So we'll get started. Um, what I have are pine wooden spoons. Um, pine just burns, it's, it burns better, it's soft, um, it's just, it's easy to work with. As a beginner, I suggest you use pine. So I printed out, um, what I'm going to be transferring first, and then I'm burning over it, just to have a cleaner look. Make sure, I made the mistake right here, that your images or text are mirrored. Um, they have to be backwards because you're flipping them over onto the project and then you're ironing the back of it. So just keep that in mind. I messed up. Sorry. So basically you have your tool on like a medium heat. It doesn't have to be too hot. Um, and you just are like, iron, you iron the back of it. So you just, you might have to do one pass if you're lucky. Um, but usually it takes two, at least for me, it, it's always two. There's spots that don't transfer right. So you just got to play with the heat. You got to be patient. That's the trick. Got to be patient. So once I was done and I burned over top of everything and gave it that clean appearance, I freehanded a design around the edge of the spoons in pencil. And I just used my finest tip and I just burned over everything. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that when you burn pine, it has oils in it. So what happens is it almost makes a varnish on the finished product. Um, if you're not going for that, if you want matte, use a different type of wood. Um, also, try to burn with the grain. If you burn against the grain, it's messy. It's just fighting a battle you're not going to win. It's the same thing with knots. Don't get stuff with knots in it because it's hard to work around, work through, work with. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you have good ventilation too. Have your ventilation sucking away from your work, not blowing on it. Because you don't want to cool your tip and have uneven burning. So once the spoons were done, they came out great. The recipient loved it. She thought it was hilarious. So... Hopefully I hashed out some stuff for you guys and you got a better understanding of wood burning. And if you haven't already, like my page on Facebook and stay humble. Have fun guys.